Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to assemble textures as quickly as possible for Fallout 4. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to create a new um, piece of uh, like a document here in Photoshop. And we have something called the Intel Texture Works plugin download. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this image right here, which is some concrete and we're gonna turn it into a texture for Fallout 4. And we're gonna apply it over this block I've created. Okay, so this is what you need to do. You're going to copy this image and you're gonna create two more documents in Photoshop, right? So copy, paste, make uh, two more documents, all right? So this is your first document. We're gonna call this one uh, the texture. So we're, we're already done with this one. Um, we're gonna go ahead and export that. So we're gonna call this uh, concrete 01 D and D is going to be uh, your diffuse map, which is your actual te texture. Okay, and in the Intel Texture Works uh, export function, there's a um, couple of things you need to do. You need to set it to color and you need to set it to BC1, and you have to auto generate your mip maps. Okay, so when you're done with that, press OK. Sweet, all right, now you have your first part done. Let's do the next part. So, you need to make a diffuse map for this. So that kind of looks like, um, I want to say if you add a black and white, okay, and then you add a, uh, let's see here, probably a exposure, and then we're going to add probably about 0.25 here, and then we're going to go to negative 0.25, and yeah, let's, let's uh, lower this a little bit, we don't want it too bright, so maybe about 0.15. Okay, this is your diffuse map. So we're going to go ahead and save that, and we're going to go and save it as uh, Concrete01S um, for Specular. This is your Specular map, not your Diffuse map. I don't know where I'm going. So there's that. We're going to go and have it go up here. It's a normal map, so we're going to go normal map, BC5, and we're going to make sure we auto-generate, and then hit OK. All right, we're done. Sweet. Okay, so for this one, it's a little more complicated. We're going to save this as a JPEG, okay? Block JPEG thing. Yeah, that'll work. All right, so then we're gonna go over here. There's this wonderful website. It is called, uh, really complicated. So we're gonna go ahead and upload an image here by clicking on this, and then we're gonna go over here, and it's called, where we got? It's, uh, I saved it as a JPEG, yeah, right here. So hit open. Okay, so here's our, uh, here's our, spe or our uh, normal map. So we're gonna save that as block, or, Concrete01N, download, save it to the desktop. Hey, right, cool, we have it downloaded. So now we're going to open that up, which is right here. And we're just going to put a piece of it here. I don't know why I did that, but anyway. Save, and we're going to save this as Concrete01N. Save. Normal map. These are actually the same exact settings that we used for the specular map, so just hit OK. Alright, you're done. So now you have three files here. Okay. There are three files. There we go. Those are the files we want. Alright, and let's see. These files. Okay. So you have a D, an N, and an S. Okay? So with these files. We're going to go into our Fallout, and we're going to go into Textures. Uh, I have a folder called Stuck Stuff, and I'm going to call this one, um, this folder, Concrete01. So I'll put all of these in there. Okay, so I don't need those anymore. And we're going to open a program called Material Editor. Now, Material Editor is what you're going to use to uh, generate the material file for your object. So if we do New, we go over here to Material, we're going to navigate to the new stuff that we've created, which is going to be under Data, Textures, Stuck Stuff, and Concrete01. And the first one is the texture, the second one is the normal map, and the third one is the specular. Okay, and we're all done. So let's go ahead and save this, and we're going to go over to Data, Materials, Stuck Stuff. I want to keep everything in line, so I'm going to call this Concrete01, and then I'm going to save this as Concrete01. There we go. Oop, concrete 01. There we go. Okay, so file, save. All right, it's in there. So let's go ahead and check to make sure that's in there. Data, materials, stuck stuff, concrete 01. Oh, look at that. Concrete01.bgsm. 
Okay, so now that we have that, we're gonna bring over our little Mythscope tool here, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the BS texture shader here. So if we go into here, we'll notice that we have some textures assigned here. The first one is your um, texture. Your next one is your normal map. And the final one, which is a little bit down, is the specular, okay? So concrete 01n.bds. And we actually need to make sure that it's in the right folder. Cool, okay, so that's not quite right yet because we need to adjust these. And, uh, and yeah, and that is a D, N, and an S. Ta da! Alright, so it's done. Save. And just to prove that this works in game, I'm gonna go ahead and launch my game real quick just to show you. and the texture should work out just fine. And uh, hey, look at that, there it is. It is a little bright, but hey, it works. You can adjust your um, diffuse map to make it not as bright, obviously. But in those regards, or not your diffuse map, your specular map, keep getting them confused. But hopefully that's useful for some of you out there, and uh, that about ends this.